JBL Extreme. So if you watch my other videos, uh, you would know that I do have, or I did have the Flip 4 for a while. Um, I did do a review on it. Um, and I also purchased the Flip 3 since it was on sale on JBL's website. So it was on half off, so it was about $55 for the Flip 3 because um, they were running a sale for Christmas. That will be a review on its own. Um, but basically, the Flip 3 is just like the Flip 4, except um, minus a few features, of course. Um, but the big one, the JBL Extreme. This is this speaker is the best JBL speaker that they offer. Um, as far as a budget speaker without spending way too much, this speaker retails for about $300, which is insane. Um, but like I mentioned, they were running a sale. I got this speaker for $150, half off, which is incredible, so I bought it. And out of all the JBL speakers that I've owned, this one is my favorite by far. Um, so let's get into this review. Okay, so before we get too far into this review, let's go over what it comes with. So, of course, it comes with this strap, which I'm not going to use. It's kind of bulky, really big, and it connects there and over here. Another thing it comes with is the instruction manual, which we all know what that looks like. Typical. And then it comes with this charging block. So this uh, JBL charging brick or block is basically this type of uh, end to this and then it requires that terminal to here which that plugs into and then of course you got your regular uh, 110 outlet plug and so that put together gives you this package um, this is basically like what your computer would charge on so it, it's big enough to require a computer style or laptop style charger so look at the difference between these two speakers like the JBL extreme is just massive compared to the the flip um, it is a lot bigger than um, the charge as well because I've seen both of them side by side and uh it's just worth the money if you could get it for for 150 bucks definitely buy it um if you're looking at the charge 3 don't buy the charge 3 save up and just buy the extreme because you'll be a lot more happy with it in the long run um, so let's get into some of these features that the Extreme has. So of course the Extreme has everything that all the JBL series have, um, such as the passive radiator on both sides. These things are massive, like compared to my hands. And I got pretty big hands, so this thing's huge. Um, you have a Bluetooth button, you have a minus button, which is for volume, you have a power button, you have a sync button, which will allow this to pair with other devices that are JBL, such as the Flip, the Charge, uh, the Extreme, all those will pair up on their app. You have a positive button, which increases the volume, play and pause button, your typical layout, right? On the back side, however, you have this zipper and uh, this rubber um, deal that goes around. Um, these are actually the feet that it stands on so it doesn't roll. So as you can see, it sits like that. Uh, that goes all the way around the bottom. But you have this zipper and this zipper houses all the components um, that are unique to the extreme. I believe that the way they designed the other ones with this little, um, it's like a little tab that pulls out. Let me see if I can pop that out. So 
I like their flip four version, but how this little tab is, their charge three and flip four have a, a rubberier uh, type of plug. So it like feels like it seals a lot better. This one's like a harder plastic compared to the, the newer uh, version, but this is okay as well. But I like the charge three, um, the way they designed it with the rubber little uh, lip that pops out and the flip four with the rubber lip that pops out. Um, so it takes some time getting used to having a zipper. It's kind of weird. So it unzips. You have uh, the different uh, things that are in here. The power USB, USB auxiliary in and service. So the reason why I hate the zipper is because as you can see, it's kind of hard to like look what's in there and apply your plugs in there only because the zipper kind of covers everything um, but as you can see we have the service button plug or whatever this thing is oh it's a plug so so as you can see there's this little plug thing over it and it is a um, micro USB which is basically like your cell phone. So I believe that's for servicing this as far as like updates, software updates and stuff. Um, I believe you hook it into there. You have auxiliary port like that. And you have your two USBs. So this is a power bank. It's a huge power bank. Uh, you could charge up to two devices on this. And then you have your power in which charges this device. Okay, so we turn it on. It's typical for JBL to start up with that rift again. Um, and then we're going to pair it. So let me pair it to um, my device. And then let's push the Bluetooth. <laughs> So as you can see, it's it's clicking or making that audible beep. Um, this is a blue light here, really dark blue. It looks a little light in the uh, image right now, only because I have a light on it. So let me scan farting. Okay, so it paired up really fast. Um, I just did not have my Bluetooth on at the moment. Not attached, so now let's play a quick. Okay, so let me kick it down to 50% volume and then run that real quick. So here's that 50%. So here's at a 50% volume. Um, this is turned all the way up. One thing to remember is Android devices, for some reason, you have to turn it up all the way on the actual uh, speaker itself before you turn it up all the way on your Android device. On the iPhone device, I noticed uh, whenever I turn up the volume on the iPhone device itself, it automatically maxes out this. So if I turn up the volume here on my iPhone device, turn it up here, I'll see my iPhone uh, and volume increasing as well. So that was kind of weird. <clears throat> but that has to do with your uh, Bluetooth system that you're using. So here's that 50%. So as you can see, it's a lot fuller as far as the sound concern um, let's see what the radiator looks like when it plays
So as you can see, the radiator flexes pretty good. Um, now we're going to kick it up to 100% volume and uh, play a little bit of that. It may sound um, really loud, so be warned. Um, you won't get the full effect of this, the quality of sound that this JBL Extreme produces. So if you really want 100% volume and to actually experience uh, the quality of this sound, uh, go to your local uh, electronic store that sells uh, these speakers and test them out. So if you have a Best Buy near, Best Buy will definitely have them on display ready for you to listen to. Um, and then that way you could uh, get a better understanding of how this speaker actually sounds. So as you can see, um, my light was actually flickering because of the, the speaker um, hitting my phone currently. <laughs> I am um, actually filming on the iPhone X, so that was pretty crazy. Uh, let's look at the passive radiator flex right now though. So as you could tell, the speaker is definitely loud. Um, I don't know if my mic will pick it up only because it's really close right now. It's probably about a foot away from my phone. Um, but I'm not using the iPhone mic. Um, I'm using an external mic. And I don't know if it's going to sound distorted. So if it does, definitely check it out in stores and you will not be disappointed with this purchase. 300 bucks is a little steep, uh, only because they do sell a, a, a boombox version for about 100 to $200 more. Um, but if you're looking for a, a smaller speaker, I would definitely buy either one of the Flip Series, but if you're looking for a little bit larger speaker, don't buy the Charge, buy the Extreme. You'll be way more happy with your purchase. And um, it's worth there. So to understand money. more of the features, as you can see, you got the Bluetooth, 15 hours of playback, 10,000 milliamp battery, speakerphone, so you should be able to answer calls on here as well. Uh, it's splash proof. And then more of the technical uh, specs. You have a 20 uh, watt biamp inside of here which allows it to um, basically give you a louder sound more um, more quality sound only because it's powered um, with more wattage and that's uh, two so apparently it's double uh, you have a frequency response of 70 Hertz to 20,000 kilohertz uh, 80 decibels and then your basic stuff that this comes with but that's the specs uh, I'm not quite sure on what the biamp is um, I believe it is an amp that's inside the speaker uh, basically what an amp does though is it increases your power to that speaker so that way you could get a lot more sound as far as uh, wattage is concerned so you're hammering that speaker a lot more, giving you a, a higher sound, um, deeper bass, because you're giving it more wattage as opposed to just hooking it up to something that um, doesn't include an amp. So if that's an amp, it's definitely a lot more power than a standard speaker would give you. If this video was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see content like this and other content that I have, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate the view. really appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.